Hi guys, here's part two of KNN. In the first video, we introduced the Iris dataset. We mixed it up by generating random numbers. In other words, we reordered the rows of the dataset. We normalized our numerical features. We identified our target feature species. It was a factor, so that's fine. And now we want to create a training data set and a test data set. Uh, the training data set is what we're going to use to learn from, to learn a pattern, specifically a KNN model. The test data set is going to serve for a way to test how well our model predicts. Okay. Um, so typically what I do is I like to have at least 10% of my observations for testing, so I, I want to hold them for testing. So uh, let's look how many observations we had. We had about 150. So about 15 of them would be nice at a minimum to keep for testing. I'm just going to use 20 as a nice uh, round number. Okay, so I typically a minimum of 10% would be nice. Alright, so first thing I want to do is I want to create the training data frame. So this is the data frame or the data set that's going to be used by the KNN algorithm to learn a pattern basically. Okay, So let's give it a unique name. So iris underscore train. Okay, This will clearly label this so we know this is the training data set. So this we're going to take from the normalized data frame that we created in the, at the end of the previous part of this series. We're going to take the first row to the 139th row. That'll leave 20 for the uh, test data set. We want all the columns. Okay, hit enter. And then let's create the rest of the iris underscore new to be the uh, test data set. Okay, so from 140, oh, I went a little too high on this, uh, 129. Yes, so that'll leave uh, 20 observations for testing. So 130 to 150, that'll give us 20 examples to test. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do, I want to isolate the species. So for training, so this is our target for the training data frame. I have to go back to the original iris data set because that's the only one that still had species. I want the first row to the 129th row, just like I did for the training features here, right? except this time I only want column 1, 2, 3, 4, number 5, the species. This is, so this is only going to be the training target feature. So that was column 5. Okay, and I want to do the same thing for my test data set. So test underscore Target. So these are the t these are the values for the target feature for the test data frame uh, that I created up here. Rows 130 to 150. So I go 130 to 150, and I want column five again, which is the species. Okay. Now I have everything I need to feed into the KNN algorithm, which is located in the class package, which should be pre-installed in your um, basic installation of R. So you just have to kind of call it. So we use the require function and we call for class. So it loaded the class package and now we're, there are many uh, functions in this, many different algorithms. We're going to use what's called KNN, clearly, K, K nearest neighbors. Okay. So the way this function works is you have to feed it a few things. So we have to feed it the training data frame, 
the test data frame and the, tra uh, the training target variables. Okay, and we have to give a value for k. So k equals, we have to give a value at this point, we have to choose. So k is kind of a placeholder for how many nearest neighbors that you want the algorithm to use. Uh, kind of rule of thumb, although it's, it's, uh, it's definitely situational and needs to be played around with and tested, uh, is to take the square root of the total number of observations you have. So we have about 150, so square root of 150 will give us about 12. So, and it's also on top of that nice to use an odd number because what KNN does, uh, at least in default mode, it, is it takes a majority vote. So if you ever have a tie, it's nice to have a odd uh, number to break that tie. Okay, uh, that's definitely a simplistic way to look at this, but we want to focus on the uh, R functionality here with uh, minimal details on um, the nuances of the algorithm. Okay, so first off, let's give this, uh, let's assign a name. Uh, typically, actually, I like to use M1, M2, and so on whenever I'm building any kind of model. Okay, KNN is the function. Okay. First, we're going to give the training data frame. So train equals iris. This is what we named before train. Then we give the test data frame iris underscore test. And finally, we give the class. And that was the class of the training data frame. So iris underscore train underscore target and the value for k so we have to specify that here and we choose 13 12 or 13 would have been a nice kind of number to start with okay enter and basically what's stored in m1 is a prediction for the classification of all um, of the values in the tr in the test data frame this guy. So if I hit M1 here and just look at what we got, we got 21 uh, predictions here. Okay, so you see these are the ultimately this is what we wanted. Okay, so we know uh, those 20, 21 it seems like um, uh, examples that we held out to test from the original 150 are predicted to be these species okay um, of course we know the actual species of those 21 flowers because in the original data frame with all 150 examples we had all that information so this is why it's called the test data frame because now we can see how well KNN did at um, classifying those 21 fl uh, flowers that we left out for testing because we know what they actually what species they actually are and to see how well it does we can create we can visualize this in a simple table sometimes called a confusion matrix so to do this we use the table function and it's typical uh, to put the predictions on the y-axis of this table and the actual uh, classifications for the test data in, on the x-axis. So here, for the first argument, we're going to put the iris underscore test underscore target, I think we called it. And for the y-axis of this table, we're going to put the M1 values. Okay, Hit enter. And here we go. So you see we had six so, so let's go through these one at a time so here are the predictions so these are the predictions so m1 okay m1 here are the actual values for the target okay 
and we know the actual values because this was part of our original data frame. We purposely split it into a training and a test so that we can now see how well KNN did at classifying. So we see that the KNN algorithm that we use with K equals 13 predicted six of those 21 examples to be Satosa um, species. And all six of those were actually Satosa. So there was six for six on those. Okay? It predicted seven of those examples to be Versicolor. And in fact, all seven of those were Versicolor. And finally, it predicted eight of those to be Virginica. And all eight of them were, in fact, Virginica. Basically, the diagonals are where it was successful. So this is the diagonal here that we're talking about. These, these are the number of correctly predicted or correctly classified um, flowers or examples in general. Off the diagonal over here and over here would be the incorrectly classified or predicted um, examples. And you see, in fact, this was pretty good at making predictions. There were no errors here. Okay, so if there was a number here, let's say one, that would mean that the algorithm predict KNN predicted that uh, one of the s flowers that was actually a Satosa was Virginica. So it predicted it was Virginica, but it turns out that it was actually Satosa. But that's zero, so that's not actually true. Okay, so we can use KNN to make classification predictions when you have a target that's a categorical or nominal variable make sure it's it's coded as a factor in R and then re make sure to scale or rescale your numerical features so that none of the features has undue influence on the predictions and then run and uh, train your um, KNN algorithm with a training data set leave out some of the examples for a test data set choose k somewhere around the square root of the number of examples you have in your data set as a starting point run the algorithm and then create a table to see how well the algorithm did at predicting okay so that's knn in r in a nutshell using the iris data frame i hope this was helpful keep watching till next time have a great day